we need a shelf. Alright, so we are heading to one of the big box stores right now to get our materials and this is usually not where I buy my lumber from but I want to make this project as DIY friendly as possible and these stores are just a lot more accessible than woodworking stores or lumber yards especially if you're just getting started with this hobby. So I got the straightest two by 12 construction grade pine that I could find along with some hardware and paint that we're gonna use later on. But the first thing we're gonna do is cut this guy the length to fit the little nook that's in my entryway. And since I don't have a miter saw, we're gonna have to do that right here at the table saw with a cross cut sled. Now this board doesn't have to be super flat for this project, but I do wanna clean up these surfaces. So we're gonna run it through the planer a few times, flipping over with each pass, and then bring it back here to rip off these edges to clean up these rounded corners. So our board is nice and clean and there's a bunch of different ways for us to go about attaching this to the wall But before we do that, I want to ask you guys something Maybe it's just me But do you also feel like when you're in your car you're in your own private space because earlier I was driving to the store to pick up all this material, right? And I'm in there driving alone I'm vibing to the music digging for some gold. Well, I know there's a kid in the car next to me and he's like I bet Right now as we're speaking, that little mm, is posting me on his TikTok. And that's when I realized my car is like the internet where I feel like I'm in my own private space, but really everyone can spy on me, which is why I use ExpressVPN on all of my devices. So ExpressVPN is a virtual private network that creates a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. So other people can't see what you're doing. And I'm not even doing anything crazy. I'm not hacking into the White House. I'm just checking my bank account accounts and reading emails. But even then, we still need to protect ourselves from hackers stealing all our personal information and passwords. And ExpressVPN helps with that by encrypting all our internet data and allowing us to change our online locations to 94 different countries around the world, which also means we get to access more content. And I know you're like, what? So hear me out, Netflix in the US has different content from Netflix in the UK, Korea, Japan, and whatever other countries that they're in. So just by changing your location using ExpressVPN, you'll be able to access all new movies and TV shows. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by clicking on the link in the descriptions. And thank you ExpressVPN so much for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, let's get back to our build. So like I said, there's a bunch of different ways to attach this to the wall. And I'm not gonna overcomplicate things, so I'm just gonna use one of these brackets that I got from Amazon and these are fairly cheap but basically the half inch diameter rod will sit inside the panel for support and the other end is going to attach to the wall and the whole process is really easy to do but there are a few things that we need to get right and the first is we need to attach these directly to the stud and not to the drywall which is pretty easy to do with a stud finder like this and this is just a very basic one with magnets inside that's perfect for a small project like this so once those studs are located start by attaching one of the brackets to the wall first and then use a level to place the second bracket. And in case you don't have a stud on the area that you want to mount the shelf, make sure that you use the anchor instead of screwing it directly to the drywall. And the second thing is to ensure that the holes we drill are straight and are in the right locations. And we can do that by placing the shelf on top of the brackets that we just installed to mark the locations of those holes. And then we're gonna get them drilled using this really long drill bit. And since I didn't mill this board square on all four sides, it's probably not a good idea to do this over at my drill press. So instead I'm gonna use this 
really handy $8 drilling guide. And I'm gonna have links to all these tools in my descriptions if you wanna get one for yourself. But basically to use this thing, we need to first find and mark the center line of our board by either measuring or using a centering jig. And then we'll transfer the layout lines of the rods that we made earlier onto this back edge. And then just line up these molded and guidelines on the jig with our layout marks, clamp everything down and get the holes drilled. Let's get this mounted and see how it looks. Oh my God. Guys, I completely <laughs> forgot about the thickness of these plates and now the shelf is not sitting flush to the wall. Um, let's go back to the shop and get this fixed. Okay, there are two ways to fix this. One is to cut a recess into the drywall with a knife or a multi-tool so that this plate can sit directly onto the stud. And the second way is to use a router and an edge guide so that we can cut a groove into our board for this plate to sit into. And that's the way that we're gonna do this. So the plate is roughly about an eighth inch thick. That's how deep we're gonna make the cut. There's not much material left, but hey, it works. Um, if I was to do this all over again, I'd probably go with the other option of cutting into the drywall. It's either that or get thicker lumber. But anyway, let's move on from this. So now we're gonna do something really cool with this shelf and that's attaching this turnbuckle between our shelf and the wall. And this is not only going to add more strength to our shelf, but it's also gonna look really cool. So our plan is to attach a D-ring on the wall for this end to hook onto. And the eye on the other end will be attached to a U-bolt that will then go into a couple holes that we're gonna drill into our shelf. And the underside of the shelf will also receive two larger holes for these nuts to sit into. Just make sure that the holes we drill won't interfere with this bracket. I know you guys are all thinking, why not just get a turnbuckle with two hooks on the end? It'll be so much easier to just attach a D-ring on the shelf. And you guys are absolutely right. But at the time of making this video, this particular turnbuckle design where the threads are hidden by the sleeve and have a maximum length of 16 inches was actually unavailable with hook hook configuration. And since I really like this design, this was what I ended up going with. One more thing guys, I don't recommend going shorter than this if your shelf is 11 inches deep like mine because the shorter this is the further this mount point will be from the front edge of our shelf and it's not only gonna look kind of weird but it's also gonna get really weak um okay that's enough talking now let's get this thing drilled All right guys, all the woodworking is done. Now I'm just gonna paint all the hardware black, throw some stain and finish on our shelf, and then get everything attached. So before I even added these turnbuckles, this thing was sturdy, but now it is 
solid. I put a basket on there for holding my mail and other larger random stuff and also this leather catch-all that my buddy Ethan over at Ethan Carter Designs gave me as a gift for holding my keys. So obviously I am super happy with the way this turned out. It only took about a day from start to finish and I hope you guys liked it too and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you get notified every time I post something new. And thanks again. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.